What's up everyone? It's Baron. What's up chickies? If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe, join the Discord, check out all the discount links in the description for Toby and Monster Tech, whatever else is down there. Check it out. So today we're talking about the Polaris. As you can see, we are going to be sort of discussing this ship as we know it has grown recently. Um, well, not too long ago, John Crew has said it on multiple occasions that it has grown and it has gotten a full reconception. So I'm going to guess it still looks the same as what it is, but it has grown in size. So hopefully along with that, the uh, the hangar has grown as well, which is something that is going to be an important factor and part of this ship. A lot of people don't want the hangar in this ship, but the thing is like it's there. But a lot of people are saying, you know, it should get an extra small hangar where, you know, the metric sizes of this ship have increased you know it's still within 200 meters but it has grown and it has gotten like a full reconception through the inside i would assume so anyway but what i really want to touch on is that with this ship what will the capabilities of this ship be because it is pretty much a capital ship it has a capital scanner capital radar and all of that good stuff on the interior with a med bay as well but what I really wanted to touch on is the fact that this ship has been in concept for so long, everybody wants it, but they don't bring it out because they need the quote-unquote multi-crew functionality. But going from there, what would you use this ship for? Where do you see yourself taking this ship? Do you see yourself needing to take um, a few people, uh, a few crew members with you? Even though, you know, you probably could run these, one of these by yourself, you will need crew members and you could eventually use MPC crew members to help you run this ship. But then going on to say that, you know, we are getting size 10 torpedoes in this behemoth of a ship. This thing is going to be an absolute weapon. But again, a lot of people seem to have an issue as well with this front forward cockpit. They always want it up here somewhere. But again, that's not how this ship is. It's designed the way it's designed for a reason. But Going into the depth of detail in this, will it be between, you know, with the sizing of it, will it be able to take an extra small sort of ship since, you know, you got the Odyssey, which has an extra small hangar, which does that mean now the Polaris has an extra small hangar? What will it be able to fit in that hangar? Will you be able to fit a Prospector? I know you'll be able to have a, um, a Scorpius in there because it's literally designed to go into the ship. So with that, does that mean that? you know they've designed that specifically so that the ship won't be able to take other like bigger ships into the hangar since you know it might not be an extra small sized hangar it could be just what it has always been and just remain as what it is so the reason i've put these other ships here is that you know this size of this thing will be pushing up to the merchant man but it will be about 30 meters or 33 meters shy because we know it's still within 200 meters but then a lot of things are telling me you know i feel like it would be around the 180 185 meters it could even be 190 but it would make more sense to have it around 180 don't ask me why i just feel like 180 is a good rounding off number maybe 185 and then keep it reasonably big but then reasonably small because it's supposed to be a fast corvette if no one really knew that so what do you think about the hangar on this? Do you think it's absolutely necessary? What will you use it for? What will you use this ship for? Let us know down in the comments and join our Discord to give us a discussion over there. But I myself see myself in this ship a lot of the time. If I'm not in the Merchantman or the Idris or the Javelin, I do definitely see myself using this ship for a lot of functions a lot of um sort of missions bounty hunting missions as well where you know this might be a little bit quicker but you know you don't want to go into the idris where that may be a little bit slower it may not be able to uh, rotate and keep target as quick as what the Polaris, the Polaris would be, and it could be a little bit quicker than the Perseus since the Perseus is supposed to be a heavy weighted ship. I know a lot of people are going to de disagree with this statement, but you know, looking at this compared to the size of the Carrick, the Carrick is a big girl, it is a big ship, but look at all that thrust power behind the Polaris. I mean, would they have increased the size of that compared to the ship? Would they have like pretty much grabbing an image and then blowing up? Is that what they would have done or would they have made 
things a little bit more symmetrical in terms of the hanger and just some of the placements at the top here along with the thrusters. But again, you know, I'm completely theory crafting here. It just gives me ideas about some of the ships that they're going to be bringing out, what they want to do with a lot of these ships. And, you know, I think it's a little weird that, you know, they're going to wait for multi-crew functionality for the Polaris, but yet they're happy to release the Merchantman. So what does that mean? Does the Merchantman then become some sort of a testing platform for all these multi-crew roles? Or is it just they're going to bring it out because, you know, they've committed to bringing this ship out? I don't know. But that's just how I feel now this being you know the Polaris is going to have a lot of great advantages in terms of combat and flight speed being able to get into combat quick and being able to get out of combat quick quick the one thing I would love is that you know the hangar size if it were to be extra small if it could take an Apollo on board and I know you're gonna say well it's gonna have a med bay, med bay and a med bed on it well we don't know if that med bed or med bay is gonna be a tier one but what I mean is would you know we be able to carry one and if need be if people were to quote unquote die or be incapacitated would we then be able to take the Apollo in the Polaris and then launch it from the vessel and then get the Apollo to where we need it and use the drone med bed to get the client or the person that we know onto the ship so that we can perform our medical duties it's just all these different things running through my mind is that when will we see the Polaris will we get an update at citizen con on the reconception of it probably not I wouldn't think so it just means that you know it's a little bit longer waiting and as John crew did say very very recently is that the longer some ships sit in the pipeline waiting to be um, sort of developed the better because you know each ship they learn a little bit more they get a little bit better the ship looks a little bit better on the interior and exterior so maybe this being a ship where it will take a little while for it to come out and we're to the point where we can fly it might not be a very bad thing it might be a good thing in some prospects of speaking if that makes any sense to use because in my mind i feel like this ship is going to be another cornerstone for star citizen where the merchant man has been is going to be the cornerstone of the ship that everyone has been waiting for and it's something that no one's ever seen in star citizen or any sort of you know game based around space and ships it's going to be a game changer and the polaris itself i think a lot of people aren't going to like it if they don't have one because they can just see this ship being an issue for them. A lot of people might not have this, but once the armor um, sort of module back end and front end piece come into the game, it will then, you know, create a complete new aspect for a ship like this. And the Perseus being, you know, we know that's heavily armed. But the Polaris, we don't really talk about this ship much. It's... I see a lot of these ships, they don't get discussed, no one really touches on them because it's just, you know, it's stale, no one really develops too much on these, but I like to touch on them, I like to give them a little bit of life so that people can come and theory craft on it, maybe no one's seen the Polaris before because they're not, you know, they're new to Star Citizen, but I feel like everyone should at least entertain the idea that we will see the Polaris in maybe the next couple of years, just because the simple fact that it's going to be needed. We've got Pyro coming. With, there's a good chance Nyx will be coming next. And then you'll have a, like an, a, a substantial amount of systems coming after that. And may you know, they may set a goal of releasing maybe one or two systems a year, maybe more. I just don't know. But going from that, you know, maybe in the next year, in 2023, maybe 2024... I would like to think 2023 just from some things I've been looking at that, you know, we could get Squadron 42 and that we could get increased server counts along with some more systems to help us then, help us then you know, go on with, with our normal like tasks that we would usually do, but then continue off in something like the Polaris or the Idris or the Javelin, just giving people that little bit of feeling that, you know, they can 
get their ships up in the sky and they have some sort of a belief that the project is going to be something that is going to be a promise and they know it's going to happen where a lot of people are still sort of questioning Star Citizen and whether or not it's a scam which kind of sucks in some forms of speaking and just in general but again put yourself in the seat of the CIG developers with the community that we have right now that is in my mind and my thoughts getting kind of toxic at the moment it's you know I know a lot of people don't like to think this and I don't like to put it out there but the community is getting pretty toxic at the moment and that's not a good thing we should be coming together we should be enjoying ourselves which you know that's happening but it's just a proportion and a minority of the community that is you know creating this sort of persona for everyone else but again I don't think the Polaris like visually has changed it's just been blown up again i would think it'd be in the 100 185 meters hoping that you know the extra small hangar there would be able to house quite a few ships like what the odyssey would be you know it's a little bit bigger than that ship in some forms of speaking but you know it's all all in the fun of coming up with these videos and like going that extra mile of what we can do with these ships and just how much use they're going to have when it comes to so let me know down in the comments what you all think of this. I'm very interested to see the Polaris come out. I'm very interested to see the reconception of it and how big it actually is with the metrics. So it'll be interesting. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know down in the comments. If you enjoyed it, leave a like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you in the verse. Bye-bye.